Okay, so welcome to video number nine. Uh, this is the ninth update of my PSA Wine Soto collection. Um, past, in past videos, I've tried to keep it just to PSA 10s because I sort of wanted to have a, a gallery of Wine Soto cards. Um, but along the journey, I've sort of picked up some really nice cards that are, you know, PSA 7, 8, 9. Um, they're not tens, but they're they're obviously significant um, numbered wine soto cards. So I've decided to add those in. I'll add those in at the end after we go through the tens. And um, I'd also, just like normal, at the end, introduce my uh, latest three pickups and and sort of have a bit of a chat about those cards and go into a bit more detail. But uh, what I like to do is sort of show the PSA population um, and. Uh, rather than sort of show how that's changed since I've added it to my collection, I'm also going to going to make a few changes in how I'm showing that. I'm just going to show the population of the card for those that are interested. Um, so yeah, here we go. Without further ado, so up first we have the 2017 Tops Heritage Minor League card. So I'll just um, I'll just write the PSA populations and and include them down the bottom there. And this is the 2018 Tops Chrome HMT55, uh, one soda rookie card. And the HMT98, this is the rookie debut from the same set, 2018 Tops Update Chrome. Then we have his flagship rookie card. This is US 300 from 2018 Tops Update. And this is the US 104 from flagship, the rookie debut. Um, personal favorite. We have Legends in the Making from 2018 Tops Update. This is the base. And then we have the blue parallel, a little harder to find. Um, population will be written down here below. Next up is the black parallel. Then from still 2018 Tops Update is the Salute Insert. Pretty low pop on these cards. And the uh, very challenging card to get a 10 on, um, often off-centered 1983 design from 2018 Tops Update. Uh, there's, there's actually more nines than tens on the pop report. Uh, now moving on to Heritage. This is number 502. And we have the Old Man Soto. This is from 2018 Tops Gallery. And we have the living set. So this is a limited print run on this. It's 28,000 um, something, but I'll, I'll display that down here as well. Great looking card. Uh, this is 2018 Tops Now, uh, limited print run. I'll post that down below. This is Juan Soto and Miguel Andujar. Okay, into second year one soto. Uh, so this is the 2019 Tops Chrome Gold Cup. Followed by the pink refractor. 
gold cup. And this is the 2019 Topps Chrome Short Print Gold Cup. Uh, really happy to have this in a PSA 10. See that refractor. Uh, still with 2019 Topps Chrome, we have the Futures Stars insert. And the 1984 design from Topps Chrome. Comment below, guys, which one of these designs, which one of these images is your favourite? Um, now we're up to flagship. So this is um, 2019 Topps. And uh, this is his flagship gold cup. And um, this is a big one, numbered to 50. This is the Mother's Day Pink um, Wine Soto Gold Cup from um, flagship product. I believe that's still population of three, but I'll list that below. I love the cup cards. This is from the complete set, and it's got the All-Star Game uh, stamp. And that's in a PSA 10. And this is the opening day stamp. Gold cup. Uh, this is the 2019 Topps Heritage. This is the um, hot box purple refractor. Um, trophy. And we have from 2020 Tops, uh, this is the August winner. Um, so this is numbered 306 of 609. Okay, so now let's have a look at my latest three pickups before we go into my PSA 9, 7, 8, uh, etc. So, um, really, really pumped to have picked this one up. It's one that's been on my list for a long time. Um, it's the 2018 Topps Archives Wine Soto. So, I believe this was his first pack inserted uh, Topps rookie card. So, I mean, crazy that it's taken me this long to, to pick this one up. Um, but here it is. The, um, it's number 73. Really cool design. And here's the back. Beautiful card. Really happy to have that in my, uh, in my collection and I'll list the population down here. So that's the first one. Then number two is going to 2020 now. So this is um, the gold parallel. Um, you know, it looks like he's just hit a bomb. <laughs> uh, and there's the background of that one, number 464 of 2020. I love that. The story of Juan's historic career start can be told by his career OPS. It stands squarely between those of Mel Ott and Mickey Mantle for the highest ever through an age 20 season. It's a beautiful card. So there's number two. Oop. See, so for the last pickup for this video is the 2020 Tops Holiday. This is the uh, short print. So he's holding a holding a candy cane instead of the bat. Same image uh, from the the 
the, po the popular <laughs> holiday product and um, very similar back as well. There we go. So I might uh, put these ones to the side and we'll go through some of my other uh, Juan Soto cards. So this is the gold of the rookie debut. It's a US 104, it's a PSA 9. Um, that's numbered to 2018. Then I have the um, same parallel. This is the, not the same parallel, sorry, same card, but this is the rookie debut in the Father's Day Blue. So this is the powder blue, which is numbered to just 50. Then we have the uh, hands on hips short print. Um, the US from the US 300, so a really big card, uh, very sought after Juan Soto card from 2018 Tops Update. Um, this is from 2020. This is uh, the World Series insert. Uh, this is numbered to 2020 and it's a uh, PSA 8. I don't believe there's any PSA 10s of this this card. This this year's stock of cards was just garbage from tops. There's so many little nicks. You can see that nicked corner. Um, so yeah, really appreciate having a 10 in that other gold. Um, happy to have it. And um, finally from museum collection, this is uh, PSA 7, uh, but it's numbered to just 50. So there's only 50 copies of these. Um, it's the Ruby Parallel from the Museum Collection 2020. Um, what I will say, guys, is check out, um, if you can, go to uh, my PSA set registry. So I've started to register all my cards. I scan the images in and um, really getting into that at the moment. So um, I'll put that down in the description if you're interested in having a look. Uh, other than that, guys, I hope you like the new format and um, the way I'm sort of displaying these populations. Uh, let me know. Give me some feedback. Are you enjoying these? Uh, I certainly am enjoying making them. Uh, but other than that, guys, I'll see you uh, for the next update video.